of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ, we humbly come before thy holy throne of grace through the leading prayers of our dearly beloved and honorable evangelist, Pastor Will the E. Almeida. Lord God, we beseech thee, dearest Jesus, to please forgive us, cleanse us, Lord, of all unrighteousness. Touch our hearts, open our minds and understanding, especially our beloved brethren, visitors, uh, new brethren, those listening through webcast, dearest Jesus, hallelujah. Help me to bring forth thy message with love and power, for I cannot do anything by myself, dearest Jesus. Anoint thy word, hallelujah, guide thy message. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, we cast out, cast out all demons of doubts and unbeliefs, hindrances, problems, cast out, cast out, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, amen. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. First and foremost, uh, I give the highest greeting of praise, worship, uh, majesty, dominion, and power only belongs to our dearest Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Praise God. And secondly, I greet and give double honor and respect to our dearly beloved and honorable evangelist, Pastor Wilde E. Almeida. Praise the Lord who is in the Philippines right now. And we will always remember and cherish the blessed memories and teachings of our dearly beloved and uh, Honorable Assistant Pastor Lena C. Almeida, our beloved Mama Dear, praise God. We also uh, uh, give double honor also, respect to all the beloved Almeida children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren around the world. Praise the Lord, who, uh, especially we greet our beloved uh, beloved James, beloved CJ, beloved Baby Four, beloved Baby Aki, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We also wish uh, happy, happy Father's Day, especially uh, to our dearly beloved and honorable evangelist, Pastor Willie Strada Almeida. Praise the Lord, our beloved minister, Willie James Almeida Jr. Amen. Our beloved James, hallelujah, the third. Praise God. Hallelujah. And to all the JMCIM fathers around the world and all of the uh, responsible fathers, praise the Lord. We greet you in the mighty name of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise God. So my beloved brethren, hallelujah. Uh, we know that uh, our loving God, amen, that he has known uh, that he is our heavenly father, my beloved brethren. He is the creator of all flesh, the creator of all things. Praise God. Out of God's uh, love and wisdom, amen, because God is always helping us. He is always guiding us, amen. He, uh, he provides everything that we need in this life, my beloved brethren. Everything created in this world is for man's benefit, my beloved uh, brethren. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we know that through the will of God, that our loving God has given us parents, amen. And most notably, my beloved brethren, fathers, because today is Father's Day, amen, hallelujah. So what is a father? A father uh, is a male parent or a man who has, uh, or who has begotten a child, amen, praise the Lord. The reason I, I give the definition of father, my beloved brethren, because, uh, you know, in this world, they are trying to change things, definitions, they're trying to change words, but words mean something, my beloved brothers and sisters, amen. So when we speak of father, my beloved brethren, our loving God has given us, uh, or he has given us fathers, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah. By the uh, wisdom of God, amen, he instituted that a man and a woman shall leave their mother and father, amen, they shall become one flesh, amen, and he commanded them, my beloved brethren, to be fruitful and multiply, amen, hallelujah. Not only uh, physically, my beloved brethren, but spiritually, amen, in doing the will of our dearest Lord Jesus, amen. So when we look at as we, today is Father's Day, when we look at a uh, father, what is the father or the role or the biblical role of a father, my beloved brethren, how God has intended um, for a father to be, my beloved brethren. We look in the Bible, uh, and there's many examples, my beloved brethren, of uh, what the Lord wants for us as fathers, amen, or as parents in general, uh, to, to guide, to lead our families, amen, especially our children, my beloved brethren, the children, are very important, especially in their young and tender ages, my beloved brethren, they need to be taught proper uh, ways, the proper uh, way of life, which is serving our dearest Lord Jesus Christ, amen. So we begin in our first verse, in our first text, amen, hallelujah, uh, King David, amen, um, he gives charge or he gives an exhortation to Solomon, his son, amen, to serve our dearest Jesus. Let us read uh, our first verse in Kings, in First Kings, Chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. From the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments 
and his judgment and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Amen. Dito po sa mga taga unang hari, kapitulo 2, ang versikulo po ay 1 hanggang 3. Ang mga araw nga ni David na ikamamatay ay nalalapit at kanyang ibinilin kay Solomon na kanyang anak na sinasabi, ako yumayaon ng lakad ng buong lupa, ikaw ay magpakalakas nga at magpakalalaki. At iyong ingatan ang bilin ng Panginoon mong Diyos na lumakad sa kanyang mga daan at nangingatan ang kanyang mga palatuntunan, ang kanyang mga utos at ang kanyang mga katulan at ang kanyang mga patutuo ayon sa nasusulat sa kautusan ni Moses upang ikaw ay guminhawa sa lahat ng iyong ginagawa, ginagawa at saan ka, saan ka man pumihit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. My beloved uh, co-preachers for reading the word of God. Everybody say praise the Lord. Amen. So we have uh, what is called, the, or what is known, or what biblical scholars or uh, those uh, who read the Bible, amen, this is known as the charge of David or David's charge to Solomon. Amen. Praise God. So he is exhorting Solomon, my beloved brethren, hallelujah, to serve, to walk in the ways of our dearest Jesus. Praise the Lord. As he did. Amen. So it is to serve God from uh, what David uh, King David charged Solomon to serve God, amen, understanding, to understand that God knows and understands the, the intents of the heart, amen, hallelujah, and that God has promised, uh, there's a promise from our dearest Jesus, if you serve him, if you obey him, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So the Bible tells us, amen, when we speak of that, this is the duty of man, my beloved brethren, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, praise God, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Praise God. So King David exhorts Solomon, my beloved brethren, hallelujah, as an example of a godly father exhorting or teaching, uh, reminding, guiding his child in the way that they should go, my beloved brethren. And because of, so and because of David, because of David's uh, uh, righteous living, he lived, he walked perfectly uh, before the Lord. Amen. Yes, we know of David committed a mistake. He committed sin. But he did, according to the Bible, he repented of his sin, he turned from his sin, and he became a man after God's own heart, my beloved brethren. David is known as a man of praise, praise God. So he walked perfectly, he walked uprightly in the sight of our dearest Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for us, amen, we, we, are, we are Christian, we are here, gathered, amen, we are following the will of our dearest Jesus. It is also, the Bible says that this blessing Amen. It's also for our children and our children's children into a thousand generations, my beloved brethren. So a godly father, my beloved brethren, the, the children are blessed. Amen. From a godly father, godly parents, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. Solomon is a recipient of blessings because David walked in his integrity. Amen. David walked in his integrity, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. And the blessing was upon his children also. So let us read in uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. Praise God. Here in uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verses 7, here's what the Bible says. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Dito po sa klat ng mga kawikaan, kapitulo 20, versikulo 7. Ang ganap na tao ay lumalakad sa kanyang pagtatapat. Mapapalad ang kanyang mga anak na sumusunod sa kanya. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So my beloved brethren, it is clear. Amen. Hallelujah. That Praise God that a man or father, a man or parent who walks in his integrity, his children shall be blessed. Amen. Because of David's uh, righteous acts, his righteous deeds, my beloved brothers and sisters, his seed is also blessed. Praise God. Amen. So children are blessed by the God-fearing, God-worshipping, uh, godly father, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. Because we know the Bible, uh, amen, the Bible is our, is our guide way, it is our path, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And to serving our dearest Jesus and to living the life that is pleasing to our loving God. Hallelujah. And as fathers, 
Amen. Because we cannot choose who is our father. Praise God. We cannot choose who is our who are our parents. Praise the Lord. It is given to us by our loving God. So blessed is that uh, person whose father, amen, whose parents walk in their integrity, my beloved brothers and sisters, amen. Like we have learned, we have been blessed by those even before us, amen, who have walked in their integrity, my beloved brethren, serving our dearest Jesus, praise God, praying for us, uh, hallelujah, sacrificing for us like our beloved parents in the Lord. Though we are not their flesh and blood, though we are not their family, my beloved brethren, they prayed for us, they prayed for us, they sacrificed for us, my beloved brethren, amen. So what a father is, is, is an outward expression of God's love. Amen. It is an outward expression of God's love. Remember, God, our dearest Jesus, is always helping us. He is always guiding us. He is always providing what we need in this life. Amen. To be successful. Imagine, praise God, that he gives us parents to care for us, to guide us, to nurture us. Amen. Hallelujah. He gives us his word, his spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, I, that he, he gives his angels charge over us, my beloved brethren. Our loving God is setting us up for success. Amen. Once again, how blessed is that child who is, uh, uh, who is the offspring or begotten by godly parents. Amen. Godly fathers. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when we look at the influence of, of the father, amen, especially young children, they look at their fathers as uh, the hero. Amen. Hallelujah. Especially uh, in, in, in biblical times and older times before all of this, uh, this gateway to visual uh, stim stimulants, I would call it, t television, internet, my beloved brethren, and, uh, what is this, influencers, amen. What they saw on a daily basis was their father, amen, their parents, praise God. It's the same today, my beloved brethren. What do they see on a daily basis? We cannot control what they see so to speak, in their school or what they may see on, on the street. But what do they see on a daily basis? Amen. Do they see a God-fearing father? Do they see God-fearing parents, my beloved brethren, that are uh, showing them, laying that foundation, the example that they should walk, my beloved brothers and sisters, like father, like son. Amen. Hallelujah. Just like us. Amen. As the body of Christ, our father is the one and true living God, our dearest Jesus. Amen. We are called to be holy. Amen. Like father, like son, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Christ came to die for our sins and that we should walk in his footsteps, my beloved brethren. So that child is most likely going to, uh, uh, what is this, move toward the footsteps of their parents, their, fa their, their parents, their father, my beloved brethren. Amen. Blessed is that child whose father is a godly father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So since fathers are the head of the family, they're the ones who decide for the welfare and well-being of their children, praise God, especially when it comes to bringing them to the feet of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Just like Joshua in the Bible, he was the predecessor of Moses. Uh, he, was a, he was not only just the leader of Israel, amen, of the great multitude of people, praise God, hallelujah, but he also had a family himself, and he made a conscious decision, my beloved brethren, once they came into the promised land, Hallelujah, that him and his house will serve our loving God. Kindly let us read uh, Joshua chapter 24, verse 15 in English and Tagalog. From the book of Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods of your father serve, father serve, that were on the other side of the flood, or the God of the Amorites, in those land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ito po sa Josue, kapitulo 24, ang versikulo po ay 15. Kung sinasabi, at kung inaakala ninyong masama na maglingkod sa Panginoon, ay piliin ninyo sa araw na ito kung sino ang inyong paglilingkuran. Kung ang mga Diyos ng inyong mga magulang na pinaglilingkuran sa dako roon ng ilog o ang Diyos ng mga amoreho na ang lupain nila ay inyong tinataha, tinatahanan. Ngunit sa ganang akin at ng aking sambahayan ay maglilingkod kami sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So a, a godly father... A responsible father, my beloved brethren, will make decisions that benefit uh, his family. Amen. He will not lead them into danger, into harm, 
amen, into uh, hallelujah, uh, adverse uh, situations, amen, hallelujah. He will try his best, my beloved brethren, not saying that there will be no trials or things that we face in life, but his guidance, amen, is coming from the Lord. Because why? The father is the head of the household. He is the head of the wife, amen, but the head of the father is our dearest Jesus, praise amen. the Lord. So the father who is obeying and following our loving God is providing a godly example for his children to follow, my beloved brothers and sisters, and also for those uh, around him. Remember, not just fathers, but all of us, my beloved brethren, we are lights in this world. Amen. We are the salt of the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Joshua, he made a conscious decision because he knows that the other nations and the other people, the Amorites, that they are idol worshipers. Amen. Hallelujah. So he is not only is he saying for his family that they will serve the Lord, but he's also uh, persuading or preaching to the children of Israel to also serve our loving God. Amen. He made a conscious decision, my beloved brethren, regardless of the situation uh, or the uh, what is deemed normal in that time or in that part of the, the world where they're living, a lot of idol worship, just like now to, in today's time. Uh, a lot of idol worship, my beloved brethren, a lot of uh, wickedness. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we have to be strong and be determined and make a decisive decision that we Amen. Me and my house, that we will serve our loving God. Amen. Regardless of what uh, is being said, hallelujah, uh, on the television or the popular opinion, my beloved brethren. Amen. Hallelujah. So the father is very important. He is a blessing. A responsible father, a godly father is a blessing to his family, to his children. Amen. To those around him, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. So a godly father also trains his children in the way of the Lord. Amen. He also trains his children in the way of the Lord. Amen. So, amen, it isn't wrong uh, to chasten your child, to correct them. Praise God. This is biblical, my beloved brethren. You have to correct them, uh, chasten them, because especially in their tender years, amen, their minds are impressionable. Amen. You have to, you have to guide them, correct them. You can't just say, oh, God will teach them. No. Our loving God gave them a father, a parent, to guide them, to teach them, my beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. So there are times that we will have to correct them. Sometimes we may have to use uh, uh, discipline, the rod, the Bible says, amen, punishment, my be beloved brethren, so that they will walk in the fear of our dearest Lord Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah, teaching them God's word, teaching them to be faithful, to trust in him, amen, above all things, teaching them to keep God first, to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall come, amen, praise the Lord. Because that is the will of God. Amen. The threefold blessing. But first, you must do the will of our dearest Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they grow old, they shall not depart from it. In uh, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. I'm sorry. Can't... Here in Proverbs uh, chapter 22, verse 6. Here's what the Bible says. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Dito po sa Aklat ng Kawikaan, Kapitulo 22, Versikulo 6. Turuan mo ang bata sa daan na dapat niyang lakaran, at pagka tumandaman siya, ay hindi niya hihiwalayan. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So above all fathers is our Heavenly Father, my beloved brethren. It is our Heavenly Father, amen, who is guiding us, amen, leading us in the way that we should go according to His Word. Now, we do these things, my beloved brethren, according to the Word of God, amen. Hallelujah. Training up a child in the way that they should go. Sometimes the Bible says in uh, Proverbs 13, 24, He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth chasteneth him be times, amen, meaning he chasteneth him, he corrects them, early. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because when they're old, amen, they're able to make decisions. It's hard to, to try to teach them then. Amen. You have to begin when they're little. Amen. Praise the Lord. Or when they're young, my beloved brethren, because you love them. Amen. I'm not correcting them or chastening them out of anger. Amen. Out of wrath, my beloved brethren, but out of love. Like our dearest Jesus also chastens us, my beloved brethren. Despise not the chastening of the Lord, the Bible says. Amen. For the sons of God, who our loving God loves, it is those whom he will chasten. Praise the Lord. So if we don't experience our the correction from our dearest Jesus, amen, we have to search ourselves. We should be fearful because that means the Lord is not there in our lives. Amen. The same with that child. Amen. When the father is present, amen, hallelujah, there is correction. Amen. 
praise the Lord. They have uh, guidance. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is the will of God. Amen. This is the will of our dearest Jesus. Hallelujah. So, my beloved brethren, when they are grown, amen, and they are uh, old enough in life, they are equipped spiritually to make the right decisions. Praise God. They are equipped spiritually to make the right decisions. The Bible says, hallelujah, above it all, uh, beloved, I wish that thou so, uh, that thou prosper even as they so prosper. So, amen, it is for them to prosper spiritually, then everything else will fall into place. Praise God. Hallelujah. They will gain wisdom from our loving God. Amen. Uh, how many of our uh, brethren, uh, the, the Lord has given their, their children talents, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They are top in the class in their school. Amen. But they're always here three times a week. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the wisdom of God because you are training them to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my beloved brethren, also... Uh, a father, amen, should love his family according to the will of God. He should love his family, his wife, his children according to God's will. Amen. The Bible says that the husband should love his wife even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for the church, my beloved brethren. So the father, amen, provides, he protects, he guides, sacrifices for the greater good for the whole of his, uh, for the welfare of his family, my beloved brethren. Amen. Not, it's not uh, expecting anything in return. There are some parents, uh, they hold it over their children's head. Amen. They, they, they demand that their children uh, take care of, uh, pay them back. Amen. In some form or fashion. Praise the Lord. Because they say that we raised you. Amen. But those, the children does not choose to come in this world. The child does not choose who is their mother or father. Amen. But once again, blessed is that child who walketh. Uh, whose parents walk in his integrity, in their integrity, praise the Lord. So, my beloved brethren, it is the same with our dearest Jesus. He provides for us. He protects us. Our dearest Heavenly Father guides us. He sacrificed on the cross at Calvary more than any sacrifice can ever, my beloved brethren, uh, be made to atone for our sins, for our welfare, my beloved brethren, not expecting anything but uh, for us to love him, just like our children. We just want them to be successful, Amen. To love us, my beloved brethren, hallelujah. And the Bible says, amen, uh, hallelujah. In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8, amen. Uh, if any, provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the father takes care of his family. Amen. Now, many look at this. Yes, if you take care of your family financially, amen, praise God. But it is more than that, praise the Lord, because you can take care of, of your family financially, but never be around, amen. And a child, uh, like those uh, wealthy children, amen, because the, the parents are always away, uh, the workaholics, amen, they, they become uh, drug addicts, they become victims, amen, of the enemy because they have no guidance, amen, uh, from their parents, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So the Bible says that those uh, who, who do not take care of their own, Amen. Meaning spiritually, amen. Uh, and other means than just material, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. And, uh, and you can also add financially, amen. He hath denied the faith. Amen. So this is a message to those who are believers, my beloved brethren, that he is worse than an unbeliever. Amen. Though you are a believer, but if you don't take care of your own, your own family, praise the Lord, it is being worse than an infidel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So just like in this ministry, we have a brethren, uh, who are faithful to our loving God, though they don't have enough money financially, but they manage, amen. They manage their household well, praise the Lord. And then when their kids grow up, they graduate, they become successful in life, amen. Most importantly, they become successful in serving our dearest Jesus. They're being used by God in his holy vineyard, amen. Hallelujah. They have joy in their hearts, amen. They are, they are uh, happy. They are grateful to God. And also vice versa, that child realizes once they're grown, they're thankful for the godly parents, the godly fathers, my beloved brethren, that continue to lead them in the way that they should go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, my beloved brethren, the Bible says that if we give good gifts, how much uh, or how much greater our loving God will give us good gifts? Let us read in St. Luke, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verse 10 to 13. From the book of Luke, chapter 11. Verses 10 to 13. For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. 
If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If, if ye then, being evil, know how to give good gift unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to us that ask him? To them that asked him. Amen. Amen. Dito po sa Lucas kapitulo 11 ang versikulo 10 hanggang 13. Ito pong sinasabi, sapagkat ang bawat tumihingi ay tumatanggap at ang umahanap ay nagsusumpo, nakasusumpong at ang tumut, tumutuktok ay binubuksan at ang aling mga ama sa inyo na Kung humingi ang kanyang anak ng isang tinapay, ay bibigyan niya siya ng isang bato o ng isang isda, kaya at hindi isda ang ibibigay kundi isang ahas? O kung siya ay humingi ng itlog, kanyang bibigyan kaya siya ng alakdan? Kung kayo nga, bagaman masama, ay marunong magbigay ng mabubuting kaloob sa inyong mga anak. Gano'n pa kaya ang inyong ama sa kalangitan na, nag, na magbibigay ng Espiritu Santo sa nagsisihingi sa Kanya? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. We love the Bible readers. Praise the Lord. So we see, my beloved brethren, of us being evil, amen, for the Bible says there are none uh, who are without sin, that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Of us being evil can give good gifts to our children, how much more our Father in heaven. My beloved brethren, how much our dearest Jesus will bless us and give us the things that we uh, need, amen, the things that we desire, amen. The Bible says, delight in the Lord and he shall give you uh, the desires of your heart, my beloved brethren, hallelujah. So we are serving our dearest Jesus, we are worshiping our loving God, we are striving to walk in his ways and do his judgments and commandments for our benefit, amen. The Bible says that following our loving God, doing his will is always for our benefit, my beloved brethren. So we, as uh, the father, the godly father, the godly parent, amen, hallelujah, not only do they nurture themselves with the word of God, but also they nurture their children with God's word, amen. They guide them, they lead them, my beloved brethren, hallelujah. This is a part of the love. The father should love his family according to the will of God, providing for them, protecting them, guiding them uh, in, a, uh, in the way that they should go, my beloved brethren, hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, lastly, my beloved brethren, hallelujah, we know that the children emulate the Father. Amen. So the children emulate the Father who emulates Christ. Praise God. So once again, God has given fathers, my beloved brethren, as an outward expression of his love. The Father symbolizes the care of God. Amen. He symbolizes the care of God, the greater love of our dearest Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just like God, our loving God pities those who fear him. Amen. So, uh, Praise God, so shall uh, uh, a father pity his own son, his child, amen, meaning that he has compassion, he has mercy upon them, my beloved brethren, hallelujah. So for example, amen, because now we are going into the spiritual aspect, amen, that our loving God, yes, he is our father, amen, he is the father in heaven, amen. Our earthly fathers are an expression of God's love, but our dearest Jesus has also given us a spiritual guide, amen, outside of our, uh, our, our parents, amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, in uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, that I will give you pastors according to my heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. According to the heart of God. Pattern after the, after the heart of God. Amen. Our beloved parents in the Lord. Amen. Our beloved honorable evangelist pastor, Woody uh, Strada Almeida, and beloved uh, assistant pastor, Lena C. Almeida. Praise the Lord. Because through the gospel, amen, we have been begotten unto them. Uh, last verse, amen, in first. Uh, I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15. Praise God. Here in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 15, here's what the Bible says. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Amen. Dito po sa unang mga taga-kronika, 
capítulo, 20, uh, capítulo 4, versículo 15. Sapakat bagamang magkaroon kayo ng sampung libong mga guro kay Kristo, ay wala nga kayong maraming mga ama, sapagkat kay Kristo Jesus ipinanganak ko kayo sa pamagitan ng Ibanghelyo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So my beloved brethren, hallelujah, because of the love of God, amen, His outward expression, He gives us fathers, amen, He also gives us pastors, amen. Hallelujah. Pastors, amen, to lead us in the way that we should go. Amen. Like our spiritual fathers. Not by title, my beloved brethren, for the Bible says that there is only, we, uh, there is only but one father. Amen. Praise God. But because we are under their, their, their care, their guidance. Amen. As they lead the church. Amen. Especially in this ministry, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I have no greater joy than to hear my children walk in truth. Praise God. So just like the father, amen, is very blessed. He has joy when he comes to know that his children are walking in truth. Amen. So just like our beloved parents of the Lord. Amen. They're very happy at the prosperity, spiritually, physically, materially, of the beloved brethren. Amen. Praise God. This is the love of God. So how much great is God's love? Amen. How much great is God's love? Hallelujah. We have seen and we have experienced. We are fruits of sacrifices, my beloved brethren. Amen. Of our beloved parents of the Lord, we are, sac we are fruits and sacrifices of our beloved parents who walk. Uh, in their integrity, amen, in serving our dearest Jesus, praise the Lord, giving us strong faith to serve God, amen, hallelujah, because they always see us, my beloved brethren, our children are always watching, amen, and when the time comes, they will remember those words of God, those, uh, those preachings, my beloved brethren, those testimonies, hallelujah, uh, those holy worship songs, amen, hallelujah, because they're always in the house of the Lord, because you are guiding them in the way that they should go, my beloved brethren. The father's reward is the spiritual success of his children, amen. If they are, are uh, prospering spiritually, my beloved brethren, then they will prosper in anything in this world, amen. The Bible says, hallelujah, that their hands shall find success in everything that they set forth their hands to do. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And last verse, uh, read in English, praise God, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 24. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child should have joy of him. Praise the Lord. So that is the joy, that is the fruit, uh, my beloved brethren, that our loving God in the Old Testament in Genesis, to be fruitful and multiply, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because imagine, that's another Christian in the world. That's another Christian, amen. If they choose to be a nurse or uh, a doctor, they are a Christian, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we need more Christians in the world, my beloved brethren. We need more Christians in the stores, in the police department, uh, in everything in this world, my beloved brethren, to share and spread this glorious gospel, amen. Praise the Lord. So my beloved brethren, most importantly, our dearest heavenly Father, amen. And for those who may not have... Uh, God-fearing parents or parents anymore, amen. Or fathers, hallelujah, our dearest heavenly father. He is uh, the father of the child, of the uh, widows, of the orphans, my beloved brethren, amen. His love and his care and his protection is there for all of us. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord.